Hey, Paisanos! Steve here goes fishing for let's make some brown worm fishing lures. Plastic all to be exact. I will take this plastisol. Let's do about let's say one cup because we're gonna make a couple of these batches. And we will put it in the microwave. Oh, folks, don't use a microwave you're going to cook with. This is extremely toxic. I would not recommend using your kitchen microwave to do this. So, just a heads up. Let's warn you. 30 seconds. Start. folks plastic another 30 seconds usually it takes about two minutes for 30 second intervals usually so mm -hmm. let's see folks let's see what set to use what set to use We have anise, herring, herring, a little bit more, probably another 30 seconds. Garlic, craw, and kapoom. I'm going to ask my neighbor on his opinion. What do you think, Mark? I think we should try anise. Anise? Didn't we do that already? Um, not a lot of it. No more anise? A little more anise. Okay, that's it. My neighbor has decided on what would be best. So, we're going to do Anise. Almost there. Anise brown uh, cinco ones. So and. I might be selling these depending on how popular they are, so keep an eye out and uh, um, so thirty seconds.
would say that's clear. Six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six drops of brown worm flip color. It's down. Oh, yeah, this is looking good. Almost like a grayish, clearish. I'm debating if I should put more in. I think I'm gonna put more in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six more. Back to microwave for about 11 seconds just so it gets super soft. Ooh, I almost burned myself. Close call. Almost touched the stuff. Probably cool by then, but still. Okay. Okay, over oh Okay, I'm clear. Folks, don't do this at home. Probably should have done it myself. But. Let's remove this. Okay. And let's see what happened. Wow, folks, these look amazing. They look like real worms, actually. They're kind of the brown. But not super overpowering brown. Look at those folks. They look like real worms. They do. Let's put those there folks. I'm gonna do a couple more of these. And have it off for maybe one or two more batches. And
assistant could help me. Yeah, folks, don't do that. For safety reasons, a lot. Let's go ahead with this glove on. Yeah, glove. back on because when I touch it it's still a little warm and we'll put this back in for a couple more 30 second intervals probably one or two depending on how so yeah those worms actually look like real worms my previous bats were a little purplish dark but those brownish clear ones actually look like real worms. By the way, Lure Parts Online has a good selection. That's where I got my colors and the mold for this, so. drops just a little darker than they were last time I oh, 
Whew. Fumes, folks. A little bit better of a brown than the last time. Get this out. And... Hopefully this dark will be a little better than the first try. The first try was a little pinkish brown, but this should be a nicer brown. But the batch before actually looks like a real worm, but I just want to darken a little. See, folks? If you can tell, they look a little too clear, don't they? They're okay. Uh, they got somewhat of a brownish texture. But, yeah. Are you ready? Close. Right. A little bit longer. Do it. Dive in the deep end. Wow. Looked like pretty good. Can see us, folks. Probably gonna do it in a paper towel just because a little plastic here and there, but we're going to. I'm just gonna peel it. Peel it right there, folks. That kind of peels on its own. First cut. There's one worm, folks. Boogers, I guess you could call them. Worm boogers. I think we have enough for one more? I don't think so. Okay. 
After this, folks, this is gonna be it. This is a quick poll for that. But we have one more mold, I guess I could probably do. Dig this piece out. It's probably best if you grab it with the spoon. Yeah. pieces and get you started again. There's a tricky one folks is in the upright Put that there for now, and we'll put this. Let's, uh, let's peel the stuff off the side. Okay. seconds again.
and it's that complete melt there. I'm gonna put this in there. It's, it's not. for a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna call it I think after this cools and pull out. So right? Okay, we got uh some sort of bait. I forget what it's called, uh floater or what's it called? Oh I don't remember. Jiggler. Some sort of jiggler mold, I guess you could say. It's a fish, not a worm, but oh, that's way too hot. Let's get it out of there. It's too hot. Maybe enough for one more. I don't know. Once this cools, this could be it, folks. Just a few more minutes. Wait for the thing to set. I'll pop it open and show it to you. It's not an idea why the brook so. this there and pop the baby out ow that hurt
there we go. Just trim the excess and let's see. Where can we do that? Do it right here. And there we go. Hey! Uh -huh.